Oh yeah, we're coming. All right guys, good morning, what's going on? So today's video is gonna be a little bit different than normal because last night I got a call at like two in the morning, well two nights ago, from my buddy Solomon saying, what are you doing next week? Drop what you're doing and come out to Atlanta. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, we're gonna get on a plane here in the next couple hours and fly from San Diego, California out to Atlanta, Georgia. So I'll meet up with him and I'll get you guys more of the details once we get there. Uh, but nevertheless, this entire week is gonna be one of the most fun, adventurous, I don't know if I would call it like your regular person's fun, but 100 degree weather and old cars sounds like a good time to me but I'll leave it at that. You guys can probably understand what I'm talking about. But that being said, let's get on a plane. Let's get to it. Uh, this thing's so damn heavy because I have to bring camera stuff. All right. I've never flown with this airline, so it's got to be interesting. That's fun. This thing's pretty heavy for a carry-on. Probably shouldn't have done that, but I don't really care. I didn't feel like paying another $70. <laughs> yeah, I made it with my big fat bag. Yeah, look at that. Okay, made it in Vegas. I have a connecting flight all the way from Vegas to Atlanta. So that one is going to be the long one. But this one wasn't too bad. Not too bad. So uh, hopefully Sullivan actually makes it on time to the airport to pick me up. But I'm going to reach out to him now. Hopefully while I have some cell service to grab something to eat. Catch you guys up when we're over in Atlanta. <laughs> Don't play around out here. Oh gosh. Stupid. Eight hours. I'm gonna rant a little bit because I can't. All right, so we finally got to Atlanta after, gosh, 12 hours worth of flying. It's only supposed to be eight hours worth. Two to Vegas, six to here, I think. And then we were sitting in the like taxi line and then in the gate for two hours. So yeah, it was so bad they gave us a little $50 voucher. So we're still here. Solomon's about an hour and a half out. Awesome for him. So I'm gonna find a charger for my phone, buy some food, even though there's probably nothing open because it's midnight. We're just getting the trip started, finally. <laughs> All right, finally made it. This is a pretty badass view over the overhang. And look who finally showed up. All the way over there. I wasn't really keeping too many tabs on what he was, where he was at today, but he, was, he seemed like he was up to some stuff. So I'm not surprised that it took him a decent amount of time to get here. But nevertheless, we're here and we're ready to rock and roll. It's gonna be one hell of a trip, you guys. Pick it up in the platinum and everything. Damn, look at that. Wow, what a pickup, man. How's it going? This man knows me so well. You're a Waffle House man? Oh, of course I'm a Waffle House man. And there's even a McDonald's next door. It's the best of both worlds. There's a lot of people here. Hey, I'm down. All right, look at that. And time. Not bad. Breaking records out here with how fast we can get around. <laughs> Only left at 10 a.m. Oh yeah, this is with the time change. See, it's not even humid. Not even humid. <laughs> All right, first stop of the night. We're gonna continue in the morning, and uh, I'd say pretty consistent travel day with uh, getting around right when we think we're going to. So, nevertheless, we're here. Uh, so I'm gonna pick this video up in the morning. We got a lot of cool stuff going. So, catch you guys then. If this thing shuts and it's pitch black. <laughs> Oh my god. What kind of place are you taking us to? Listen here, all right. For $24 a night. All right guys, next morning. So I guess it's probably time. There's, I'll, I'll show you the other reason other than Power Tour that I'm here, which is actually a very cool one. So let's hop in the truck, we'll get right to it. gosh this is wild the funny thing is is this is probably realistically you're gonna probably see maybe half of what was here so keep that in an open mind but <laughs> this is gonna be awesome i love love this stuff i'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be working on so man look at the sandbox truck over here 
Okay, before I get ahead of myself, I'm gonna have a video going through every video, every truck on this property if you guys wanna see it in depth. So I'll, I'll post that when I do it. So I don't wanna use all you guys' time on that, but we'll just do a, bro a broader wide around, or we'll do a broader look around at what's here, kind of get you guys up to speed on what we're actually doing here. All right, so as I kind of walk down this row of trucks and kind of try to explain my best what we're actually doing. So this whole collection, Solomon actually purchased, the, and that's the Ford Air on Instagram and YouTube. I definitely recommend you go down in the description of this video and check out his channel. If you actually want to see a full in-depth tour of when all of the vehicles were here, keep in mind, this is only about half of what was here and you can see just behind me. I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. And it does not stop. These are all as early as fridge cabs to as late as dent sides. Nothing newer than that is on this property from what I can even see. There's one bullnose shorty right there, which actually is pretty rad. So that's the only new truck that I see, newest truck I see. But so I flew out here on a limb, very last minute. Solomon called me, uh, like I said, and he was like, hey, what are you doing next week? I said, I was probably gonna work on my truck, be productive, this, that, and the other. Pretty much made me drop everything I was doing, fly out here, and we're actually taking the, one of the trucks inside on Hot Rod Power Tour. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys that truck once they kind of get a little bit more work done to it. I'm, I don't want to step all over them while they're working on it, but we got a lot of prep work to do on the truck and we're going to take that thing on power tour. So that truck, they just got done polishing it out yesterday and it is a amazing looking survivor truck. So, um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys up once we uh, get that truck out. But like I said, if you guys are curious about everything in here, I am going to do my own in-depth video with Solomon. So subscribe to the channel if you are new, like this video, it would really mean a lot to me. I flew all the way out here just to make these videos for you guys. Um, let me know specifically what vehicles you kind of want a little bit more in depth on. There's that whole back row is nothing but crew cabs over there. Uh, so we're gonna be taking a very close look at all those uh, and kind of checking out some of the very special option trucks out here because there's a lot, of, a lot of weird ones, a lot of explorers, sandboxes, super cabs, crew cabs, high boys, everything. So a lot of special stuff here. Looks like Rome's getting this one all cleaned up, wetted down. So we're gonna start buffing this one out. And I guess I'll kind of take you through a, a process on getting a old truck, making it looking new. Because you can see that one they just did. It looked just like this. You can see how shiny it is just from here. Damn, this thing's got moss growing on it. <laughs> yeah, it Literally. This one's even got the shag carpet interior and everything still. So. Oh yeah. Oh, it's got a Mustang, an early, early Mustang steering wheel. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Hell yeah. I like the wheels too. I also just noticed this. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I want it. <laughs> Dang, this thing's coming out beautiful. Yeah, we're getting there. It's definitely getting there. So you just did a, a basic wash and then went straight to buffing it? Literally. Yeah. And it's Can't just, really decon it, put a clay bar and it's just gonna get shredded. Yeah. So, so you so just like just a coarse cut pad and cut polish or what? Um this is a like I said, this is a medium cut polishing pad. Okay. Yeah, since we got some decals on there, yeah. I don't eat through those too much. Yeah, but I mean you can see the difference. It's like chalky over here and then you probably see my reflection almost if I walk back here. Yeah, you like pretty much can. That's pretty impressive. I, I mean, yeah, for some older paint. old paint, yeah, and you can see even the orange colors are starting to come back. I like how it has kind of a textured to it. That's yeah, pretty that's, rad. That just shows his character. Oh right yeah, there. I, no, that's I love the it. Thing I love about these old trucks. Yeah, I, I just like the one of one part of it. It's yeah, just, there's only one of each of them, and each person that has one, you know, they take care of them. It's like you will only see this one. Yeah, you're only gonna see this one. Yeah, right you'll here. you'll know it's me driving down like the road. I, say, I touched that. Yeah, I, I built that. <laughs> I did that. I did that. God, the bed on this thing's laser straight too, minus the one yeah. corner. But like the floor, it's like there was never anything put in the bed of this truck. Yeah, that's, that's wild. Yeah, but you can see the other side for a comparison. Like this is the before. And then you kind of walk over to the other side. The room's already kind of gotten the bedside done up. It's not even done yet. But I also noticed it has a staggered wheel set on it. Got tens in the back and looks like eights up front. Little short box out front, 69 Ranger. Ranger short beds are pretty freaking hard to find. This one looks like it was a pretty solid daily driver for someone. Did a couple little nifty modifications, I guess you could say. It's one of those trucks that I get and I rip everything out of it, but nevertheless, this definitely was someone's daily driver. And uh, looks like it had a good life for a little while until it sat, but there's the tailgate. There's the tailgate. I thought this was the tailgate, but I was wrong. Yeah. Uh, and that's Michael. a good tailgate. Yeah. Is that the dealer, is that? Yeah. Keep well, it's got a little rust, but it's a good tailgate. It is. It's yeah. a good tailgate. It's not all dinged up on the top like they usually are. Oh, and yeah. obviously, it's got the color. And your tarp snaps there. Sure is. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, so it's got a factory tarp. And you said he still had it. Yeah, yeah it's in there. Now it's there, in it? Wow. That's not crazy. even a wrinkle in it. That's wild. Certified to, uh, oh, yeah, that's safe. Certified, uh, certified forklift operator. Yeah. But it's actually OSHA, not OSHA. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, dude, that's just. 
But I mean, as you guys can see, this is some precision forklift operation. I mean, it's not mine, so I'll trust it. All right, you guys, picking up on the tail end of the last video that we filmed. Uh, Rome got this truck finished. He's all, but he buffed that thing out. You can see the tailgate came out fantastic. Uh, now we're pretty much getting everything ready uh, to go on power tour with this thing. About to jump in here and get the, the rest of the brake system finished up and hopefully throw all of our stuff in, go around the block, and if it's good enough, we're gonna go straight to Don't jinx Tennessee. Us, bro. No, I said hopefully. I know, no, not hopefully. It's we're going, going to, to yes. tonight yes. be driving this six hours. That's it. Every yeah. single one of you that's watching, pray for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, we're definitely good. We even got a light. We got a jack, too. It yeah. pissed oil everywhere, but we have a jack. So what is this? This is a, what is it, 351M? 400? Either 351 or 400. Or 351, 400, I don't know, whatever. These modified guys get really offended when you put the M in the wrong number. But we, either way, this thing runs like a top. As you can see, total survivor's truck. This is uh, 79, right? 78. 70. It's got square headlights because it's a Ranger XLT. Oh, that's why. Okay. So 78 uh, F-150 Ranger XLT uh, original paint. This is how it came. This one, this door won't open for whatever stupid reason. I don't know why. Probably locked. I'm probably just a weenie. No, it's, it's definitely not locked. Well, that's off to a great start. Oh, cool. See, so when I have to get in it, I'm not going to be able to open the door. No, better. I think you're right. You're a weenie. Okay. Yeah, I am a weenie. But either way, very nice truck. You can see the carpet's even in good shape. We haven't even cleaned it yet, so it still smells. Mm -hmm. But, um, you need to, you need to double side that back on like it's supposed to be yeah this thing's very nice uh has pretty much all the bells and whistles the only thing it doesn't have is ac it's even got a little yeah, we have ac look yeah yeah we got ac 55 and dude two wing two wing windows if we're not doing 80 80 in this freaking 80 kilometers i'll feel like jack over here catch air. Work. yeah he's getting he's getting all the brakes done these things are coming out pretty if good if you guys are not cranking this up a couple times during the trip then you shouldn't have it no we're definitely going to say <laughs> But yeah, you can see the paint on this thing. Um, calling it the Snickers truck, huh? That's what the name was. It was nicknamed before I got it. I probably would have named it Reese's. Yeah. I because I like Reese's better than I like Snickers. Maybe we're going to be hungry and... Fill the bed with ice and throw Snickers know? and cold drinks in the back? I like that idea. Don't pretend like you thought of that yourself. I know, I'm just kidding. But yeah, we'll probably totally, do something totally funny. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. I don't even know how much fun yet because we haven't slept. We're going to have we're gonna have so much fun with three hours of sleep in a truck that we have no idea how far we're going to make it, but we're going to have one hell of a time. And Dude, the nice that's, thing... That's what this is about. Oh, of course. And the nice thing is no matter where we are, because we're in Tennessee and Alabama and... We're uh, within or, trailer distance of everybody. We're in trailer distance of a, of a freaking Waffle House. Dude, we're walking distance of a Waffle House. So we're good. <laughs> We're in the Bible Belt. So yeah, we got God watching over us. We're ready to go. Jesus has our back. Oh yeah. So we're ready to let him take the wheel if we get tired. Yeah, honestly, I'm down. But either way, so this thing's gonna be a blast to drive around. We're gonna have a bunch of fun, and uh, hopefully, everything goes to plan. Alrighty, after all this work, so doing the brake lines, the front one on the axle was destroyed. Uh, it's all deteriorating. So after a whole bunch of digging later, found the box that we need. This guy has the. 4x4 guys would know that this is the brake line that goes on the top of the axle on the front diff. We had to dig through all this stuff and all that stuff and all it, that stuff. And yeah, so we found it. Yeah, we did find it. He said they're in there and they're and in there. We found it. Yeah, a little, a little bit of a, an adventure and it's very hot and but uh, we found it. So we're good. So let's keep on trucking. And now the best, nice thing too is we found a jack with some jack stands. There's probably some other stuff that we'll probably pull out of here like some fuel filters and battery terminals and miscellaneous things we could possibly use. We need a little tool bag. We got a brand new one right here. And there we go. Yeah, no. See, everything happens for a reason. We're pulling this all Wait, apart. This, no. Oh, it's, it's a, a lunchbox. Box. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's coming with us for sure. For sure. Oh yeah. Oh. Midas, inside. I'm tired. <laughs> how was uh, how was driving that Midas right there? Wet, wet. <laughs> Very wet, wet. It's hot in there. It's like a solid 130 plus in that cab. Down. Oh yeah. Nice. Up. Up. Down. Down. There it is. Yeah, I guess the real question is, do these work? Oh, you lucky bastard. Good. Tail lights. The dome light works, man. What kind of a joke is this? The dome light works. Oh yeah, it's been That's all. That's not right. Yeah. Even the one under the head, the hood works. Yeah, I knew the one under the hood works. Yeah. Do you have tail lights? Brake lights? Other lights? Huh? Brake lights? Tail lights? Yeah. Everything works. Wait, I'm, I'm just like, yeah, yeah. no, the brakes works. I saw when you were doing it. 
so they get brighter. Oh, nice. Look at this luxury. It's even an automatic. Bricks are almost blue. We swapped the master so it doesn't leak everywhere. Um, so we're just bleeding it one last time. I already have a pedal, which is good. I think we're ready to put it on now. Good. I good. mean, do we have all the wheels on it? I, uh, we have the if rear wheels. Loose, all we gotta do is change all and then right? the yeah. fronts are almost, and like they're saying, Oil. Oil is next. Some fluids and make sure the radiator is cooling systems blood and oh yeah. Get her see if she does burn out. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'll do the front door if you do the wall. You guys see we put in uh Jack, I've been I've been up here doing this for eight days, okay? Spark plugs. Um everything. I mean it's all nice and fresh, new coil. So it's pretty cool. And uh we're getting there. Does the horn work? <laughs> Hell it works! Oh the horn blows, does the owner? I'm thinking like maybe a 60 weight. No, I think we're all wrong. That's not bad at all. We are all wrong. Cause that is a cold motor and that shit is coming out. That's really not bad at all. That's promising. Well, it's 20 WVR1 going back in it. Nice. That'll be heavier than what's coming out. Power tour starts in 10 hours. 10 hours, we have six hours to drive, bro. I know. Why you, uh, why well, you look like you're worried, bro? I'm not worried. Why well, you look stressed out? Stressed out? I'm not stressed out at all. Do I look stressed out? This thing looks absolutely beautiful. Ready to make things work? Ready. Dude, this thing came out. Kill it. Jack got all the brakes done while we were working on some other stuff around the property, which you'll see. You'll see a video later, but uh, I think we're about ready. Alright, go ahead. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kill it. You got a spark plug wire missing. <laughs> I, told, I just told him I need to go back through and put the spark plug wire I was like, it sounds like it's got a dead hole in the wire. It's just it's always something. <laughs> hey, at least you see it now. Sounded all right, though, for what it was. She's alive. Ready to rock, baby. I'm so tired, dude. You're tired. How are we about to drive six hours? I feel fine. Okay, great. You guys heard him say that. Just six hours. It's only midnight. Fine. Keep on going. We haven't even started yet. drive all right guys so first drive over here or first drive since we did some stuff to it I drove it but feel better feels good the brakes yeah we got them. super good brand new pads front and rear so we still gotta seat the pads once the seat of them work a little better yeah yeah we're going it was pretty nice yeah I need to check the tire pressure oh yeah I think they should be good because we did I stopped into a tire store when we drove it the last time. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Stop number one. We are looking pretty. Oh yeah. This is going to be a ton of fun. Ready to rock and roll? I am so ready. It's not even funny. Ready, ready to rock and roll? Yeah. No, no, no. Stop looking at premium. Yeah, we're, we're, we're over here on the unleaded. Oh. Wait, what in the heck? That's such a big difference compared to California. <laughs> hey. That's all right. We're having, it's worth it. Smiles per gallon on this trip all the way. Oh yeah, we're coming. Oh, you got a screwdriver. Yep. <laughs> it's a loader. We gotta bring it back though. That's all right. Typical roadkill fashion. Immediately, power tour fashion, I should say. Well, same thing. Immediately as we get in here, I'm trying to put gas in the thing, and realize so whoever put the filler neck on. Oh, I gotta fix it. Didn't tie the hose clamp. Hose clamp fell off and. Poop it everywhere. Cindy, nah. Eight. Cindy, eight. Yeah. So we gotta fix that. So that's gonna be pretty fun. Or I gotta fix it. <laughs> uh, 77. 
Okay. Full wheel base forward. That'll work. All right. <laughs> Those tab on. I'm gonna wipe all the fuel off this. Thank you. I think what's going on is we're gonna need to get another hose clamp on this. You can see this hose kind of flattened, so I think it's it's kind of making a flat little spot on oh, a nice double shot. For the boy. Nice. So we're gonna have to go get a hose clamp, and I think we're gonna have to clamp the flatter hose to make it round again, so we can actually get feeling it. But hopefully, maybe if we kind of like use the jack, tilt it on one side, put gas in it every time. Um, well, honestly, what a lot of people do, and what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to find like an eight by eight little piece of wood. Yeah, drive and every up time, Yeah, we just throw it in there, and every time we want to fuel up, drive over it real quick. Okay. And it gives you like that angle. Okay. I've done that a lot. Sounds like a plan. Or you get like the ramps. Yeah. And, you know the. And and then you just put them we'll on the back. Just jump it. Yeah. Yeah. All righty, guys. First stop. Made it to the Waffle House. Uh, I don't know how many miles we're at. We're getting basically in between Chattanooga and Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, at our first, uh, the second Waffle House, I believe. Love the truck, man. Thank you. It is beautiful. Pretty nice, huh? It is gorgeous. Yeah. Alrighty. So our first stop, we actually went forward in time, or backwards, I don't even know. It's 2.15 technically is from where we were, but because we're on the other side of Tennessee, we just went back an hour. So now it's uh, it's technically here only one, but we're feeling it as two. So we're gonna call it right here. Get up pretty early in the morning, hit it hard, and uh, get after it. So I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. 